Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be creating this effortless, beautiful, fresh makeup look. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys um, are having a good day. I am having a great day today. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I am so thankful for you guys. I know I say that all the time, but I really am. It just makes me so happy to, you know, have people on, you know, on my journey here. Yeah, if you guys really like this makeup look and you want to maybe recreate it with me, go grab your makeup, grab some snacks, grab music, and let's do our makeup together. So, let's go. Hello guys, I know my setup looks a little bit different. I actually moved my desk to this other wall. Um, I moved it because uh, this is where I have my window, so I really like um, that I'm going to be like right, right in front of the window. And it's going to, I feel like the video is just going to look better with the natural light and of course my ring light that I always use. I'm so sorry. I know you guys probably always hear my kids in the background screaming and yelling. I'm so sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. They, they're they just kids running around having fun, so sorry about that. So first, I'm going to be going in with my first Sally, of course. I'm actually running low on this and I really, really need to get some more because I actually I like it I really I really do like it it's just a little pricey um, but when I say it's worth the money it all depends on you you can definitely get a tackiness right after you apply it which I really like because it really makes me feel like okay the foundation is definitely gonna stick into my face. I've been wearing this foundation non-stop and I really 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 love it. It's very like weightless foundation. It stays on all day pretty pretty well even with this uh, humidity here in UAE. I really really like how it stays on throughout the day so if you haven't tried this yet I definitely recommend you pick it up and of course it's drugstore super affordable so yeah you get you get really really good deal with this highly recommend it I've been mixing uh, these two shades right here um, just because I feel like this is a little too too light for my skin right now and this is a little too dark right now I basically I pretty much use this when I tan a little bit so this matches perfectly when I tan and this is I feel like I picked up the wrong shade it's a little too light so I put a pump of this into a full pump of this and it really creates like my my color I just mix it I really like putting um, liquid foundations on my hand and I kind of just warm them up with my finger and then I dot it on my face And of course I use my blender right here. I got this at a center point here at the mall. I really love it. It's pretty much like the one uh, Nikki Tutorial started using. I feel, I mean that's, she's the first one that I saw uh, using this um, kind of like microfiber uh, velvety sponge. So I really, really wanted to get one as well to try it. And I found it at that store. I'm going to be going in with my H Rewind concealer that I love. I've been using this for years. I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos, if not in all of them, that I wear this. Contouring. I've actually been really enjoying a cream contour. Um, cream contour has always been something that I was very intimidated with because um, I don't know I just wasn't sure if it was gonna work for me or if I even knew how to do it um, but yeah ever since I tried it I don't know like lately I've been really really liking how this uh, concealer works with um, contouring so um, yeah, 
it's so super super easy to blend super creamy i mean it pretty much says it on the title dream brightening creamy concealer you guys should try it if you if you're kind of afraid to try cream contouring please pick this one up and you're gonna love it. Okay, so I did my eyebrows and I put on some soft ochre paint pot on my eyelids. And now I'm gonna be going with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Okay, the color that I'm gonna be using, it's gonna be the Golden Ochre. Ochre? Yeah. Right here. Oh my gosh, have you guys listened to um, A Whole New World by Zane? Is it Zane? Zane and oh, that other girl, I don't know, Zavia? Zavia Ward? I don't know, oh my god. Please listen to that song. I can't stop listening to it. Like their version of A Whole New World. Whew, it really like gave me chills the first time that I listened to it. I just can't stop listening to that song. It's just... I don't know, it gives me like goosebumps and it's just it's so, so beautiful, their version of A Whole New World. I want to listen to it right now. I'm going to go in with Raw Sienna right here and kind of blend it upwards. Now with the bottom lashes, I am going to go in with this burnt orange shade right here shimmery rose gold color apply that in the inner corners also gonna add a little bit on the brow bone right here now i would go in if you want a very like minimal fresh look i wouldn't wear lashes but it's totally up to you of course some lashes that are very like wispy and kind of natural looking uh, would look better if you're going for like a very effortless makeup look i for example i am definitely going to put lashes because i have very short lashes and i just i don't like my natural lashes so yeah go ahead and put some mascara on if you have beautiful lashes just give them a curl and put some mascara and you're good to go but as for me i am going to be going in with some lashes i'm going to curl my lashes a little bit because they are super super straight so I definitely want to kind of curl them a little bit to kind of blend with the fake lashes. Ow, fuck! Oh, I just literally pinched my lid. Be careful guys, this can be very dangerous. Oh, holy shit, my eye is watering now. That hurts so, so bad. i brush my lashes to kind of get rid of the eyeshadow fallout I don't like putting mascara on because it just really doesn't really make any difference with my eyelashes they're super super short and yeah I don't see a point in doing that for me for myself it's up to you okay guys so I finished put putting my lashes what do y'all think I really really love these lashes I and they're nine dollars nine dollars guys such a such a good deal yeah. now it's time for my favorite part and it is highlighter time but first i feel like i am going to be going in with this milani bronzer it's a well it's a strobe light glow powder and it looks like this. It's so beautiful. I really, really love this. And I feel like I am going to wear it as a blush. So, yeah. I put my Spice lip liner on all over the lids and then I went in with my Fenty Beauty 
Fenty Glow Lip Gloss, which I love. It is a must-have. If you haven't tried it, girl, you need to go get it. And yeah, pretty much this is it, guys. What do you guys think? I am really, really loving the look. It's just so effortless, but so beautiful, so fresh. And yeah, it's, it's perfect for the summer as well. And yeah, I uh, just got out of the shower. So obviously my hair is still wet. It takes forever to dry. So I always let it air dry. I don't like using a lot of heat in my hair, especially since I just dyed it. And it's a little, you know, when you bleach it, it's, it's a little fragile. So you wanna take it easy on it. But um, yeah, besides that, I really love how this makeup looks. I really hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I upload a new video. And yeah, guys, this is, this is it. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Oh my god, I, it makes me so happy that... Um, you know you guys are liking my videos enough to subscribe and yeah it just it really really makes me happy and I thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart